Well, first of all, it's been a challenge. As I talked earlier, uh, I had 56 players when I first arrived at Nichols. And now I'm proud to say we actually have a true competition to be in the 95, which we report on August 2nd. So that's a step in the right direction. The next thing is I have a tremendous waiting list, you know, when school starts to add some kids. That helps our program so much. It helps with our scout teams. It helps with competition for positions. But I think one of the keys that's really helped us is retaining our kids. We're doing a good job in the classroom, you know, with our APR. We have the young men, so we're, we might, we have some very good players on our team, some all-conference caliber players on our team. Do we have enough of them? No. But right now, if we can retain the average type players and just coach them year out, year in and year out, we can get them better so that we can be more competitive and be in the mix for the conference championship. Just the stadium's changing, our weight room's changing, locker room's changing, and also just on the field, just our mindset. Coach, we came into it, just some guys would just have that mediocre mind frame. Coaches came in and still does, everything's got to be first class. And I think we're, we're getting there more and more every year. Well, it was a long process. The team uh, is definitely progressing big time. I know my freshman year, I was kind of timid to come to the team, trying to be a leader, but also respecting the older guys. And then when they asked me to be, become a leader, it was a big boost of confidence for me. And, I know that now we get into more of the athletes to come here, fits our system better, we plan better. And myself, I think just working hard every day at practice, just putting in extra time in the weight room, working out, watching film, everything, it's just, it's boosting my play big time.